Ilyu's wow. knocked to losers already. That was crazy, because once Ilyu got in a kill percent and off the stage, it felt like he didn't know how to get back on. Like, he it, and, and then Physic just a complete advantage of that, landing signature after signature. Makes it 2-1 over Ilyu. Wow. Yeah, I feel... Oh my gosh. I feel like if he... um. If Ilyu had realized that his Satch would be so strong from game one, that might have been a completely different series. But uh, definitely a very uh, close best of three. So now, we're actually just going to go straight into the next game. Looks like we're doing Wilson versus Aiden Pierce. Wilson no longer the Wilson. Back to you straight to the point. Aiden Pierce. I did not see what Legends are, but... Aiden Pierce is the Roland main, remember? And then Wilson's always clean nine because he doesn't play anything else. Oh, the Roland main. I, well, that's what I was saying. Cause I was Three, two, right. one. Roland, <laughs> Roland no, and Aiden no. Pierce. <laughs> and straight to the point, Wilson, representing his clean eyes per usual, goes in for that D-Light Sider. Aiden Pierce playing with the Lance, tosses it upwards. This is something that I'm very used to seeing from Pierce. Uh, oof. Despite that uh, spear string coming in and Aiden not getting any damage, I feel like if it, Wilson ever tries to approach from the air with guitars, he's just going to be constantly throwing his lance upwards, going for some arm combo. But you see there, Wilson does an excellent job of dodging in place after he gets hit by the first weapon toss, and actually he's a punish shot. It doesn't work the second time, but Wilson has an idea of how to play against Aiden Pierce's lance weapon toss playstyle. Yeah, it's just that's not actually reliable because weapon throw into recovery or weapon throw into nair is actually a true combo. So if you're relying on getting hit by it and dodging, you're gonna have a bad time. Luckily, he hasn't had to worry too much about these weapon throws. See, you can tell Wilson's in the think tank right now. He doesn't know how to approach Aiden, and he's struggling to figure it out. Aiden's kind of built this wall on top and above him, and he's using the large range of lands. Okay, that was just. Yeah, that was wild. a lot, but you're absolutely right, and Wilson, trying to think about this, he's kind of waiting for Aiden to approach, throwing out down six to see if he can get him in, and every time Aiden uses those signatures, he's giving Wilson an unnecessary opportunity to get in, but he's winning out on these damage trades as he throws the weapon once again, doesn't we're getting any follow-up, but doesn't care because he's not getting punished, and Wilson, going for a side sig, has now been brought into the red against the likes of Aiden Pierce as he had a lead earlier on and doesn't really know what to do with it. Against the Cider comes out, Wilson gets burned by that down light, and a down light Cider from Wilson, We'll send Aiden Pierce flying. Can he recover against the likes of Wilson's mind? No, oh, he can't. Why did he throw there? I don't no. know. The guy's holding a weapon. Is holding an explosive. If you go for a throw, you have recovery time after you throw, and you won't be able to dodge it. That was just a straight up misplay from Aiden. Oh, oh. <laughs> the pivot neutral sig. Okay, that was a beautiful read. D light slider comes in from that side light combo, and Aiden Pierce brought into the yellow already. Another D light slider. And Wilson Spears he goes for a third one, doesn't connect, and Aiden returns with the auto combo of his own, holding onto the spear, dodges through the down sig, and Wilson got a damage lead for the second stock, and Pierce no longer has his lance to be able to play with to be able to make that wall, he's just trying to go in for D-Lights after D-Lights. And light comes out, Wilson misses his D-Light side air, or side light rather, another D-Light side air from Wilson, putting him into the orange. Weapon toss, doesn't get the end air. I feel like Aiden was finding more success with the uh, lance. I feel like he's just going to keep getting down light combo if he tries to stick with the sword, but Wilson actually sure. switches over to the guitars and still gets a down light combo. Yeah, not to mention that Aiden is kind of playing a lot more recklessly with the sword. Like, he's going in constantly, just putting out end lights, trying to see what, ha what happens. Actually, face Wilson off the edge. Wilson doesn't get the ground pound. Siders aren't connecting, however, and Wilson ends up running out of the trade. Goes in with the end light to stop that signature usage from Wilson and Wilson. Finds that pivoted side light, has the spear in hand, goes for a down stick. D-Light Sayer oh. doesn't connect, and Aiden actually dodges through that side stick to get that D-Light down here. Wilson has to recover high. Yeah, but still not dead. Both players are very deep into the red. Aiden just barely surviving. Got pretty lucky with uh, going perfectly diagonal like that. And the Nair, or the recovery still doesn't kill Queen Nair. Yeah, that Both players are so ridiculously lit. This is true. Both players having very high defense. The trades aren't really trades are really coming in as a, just a hit exchange rather than the strings. As Aiden Pierce tosses the sword into Wilson's face, Wilson responds in kind. That was interesting. I think Wilson went for an end sig and just got interrupted immediately out of it. And an air connects. That air is almost killing. Flying oh, guitars hit him in the face too. Aiden Pierce tosses his weapon oddly again, doesn't get punished, and the bomb just goes straight over Wilson's head. Doesn't not even forcing him to dodge. Both players are very scared to approach. 
Aiden finds a Nair, but it doesn't kill Queen Nai yet. But the up weapon throw into recovery will. Wilson ends up losing his stock first, but let's see how much mileage Aiden can get out of it, especially if he doesn't pick his weapon up and then runs into a down stick. Come on, man. Yeah, so no mileage is made. Both players put it even stocks once again. I'm I won't be surprised to see both these stocks ending up going to red percentage. Wilson goes in with an air. Actually getting a decent guitar streak, but Aiden immediately stops any guitar play possible with this lance as he tosses it directly upwards, prevents any down air or nair descents from Wilson. And a weapon toss goes into Wilson's face once again as he plays comfortably with this lance, slowing down the pace of the match. Very cool. Oh, he could have extended the combo there. Once the weapon hit, he could have uh, gone for another nair or something, but... I don't think he realized what was happening. But still, he's staying even with Wilson. Wilson recovery does comes find out. Recovery. Yeah, a Aiden Pierce Throw down. taking up to the skies without using the weapon toss oh, and just lands on a down sig. This isn't looking good all of a sudden. Aiden does find a sword. Ooh. That was okay. a really cool GC side sig option, but it doesn't work out as he's got the sword in hand now. Wilson tries to go for another recovery, which he's landing so well on D-Light Sarah since Wilson flying unarmed Big as well. Opportunity he's here. very low on jumps, but he ain't, he's back and Aiden messes up his signature punish as he gets it down here. Wilson still on the side of the stage, okay. dodges into Reverse his side, side sig. That was a, that was a good option because you know Wilson is like begging to get a uh, weapon at that point, and so you just do the side sig covers both of them, and Wilson dodges right into it because predictability. That's such an easy way to catch so many people. No matter what tier of play you're at, is you just throw a move out towards the weapons, and then they go to pick it up, and then they run into your stuff. So Aiden does end up taking the first game. It seemed like both players were like, when it when it got to a point where either one was at a very high percent, things were kind of Three, two, interesting. One, and by interesting, four. I mean like difficult to approach. Like they're both playing very similarly in the sense of kind of like, I'm waiting for you to do something play style. Aiden Pierce picking up the sword first is most likely the one that I think that gets punished the most against the likes of Wilson, likes of Wilson Spear, because whenever he has the sword, he likes to really go in for these hard end light reads. And D light combos, and Wilson oftentimes punches him like that with the D light there. Putting out another down light, tries to go for an air. Aiden getting a D light there of his own, tries to go for offstage side sig, and a side light side air comes out from Wilson as he's able to uh, punish him for being able to put out that signature. Aiden gonna go back to his ear play. Ah, see, like right there, you know the weapon's gonna fall on top of his head. Why not go for an unarmed combo? Instead, he goes to pick it up. This is another unarmed combo. Like, if you're gonna play this uh, Lance style, which is super ridiculously effective, by the way, you need to always recognize when your weapon throw is gonna hit and be able to follow it up. Goes for a but, side air and gets hit by the D-Light Like, if these aerials don't hit, Aiden's constantly putting him in a position to get hit by these D-Light Sairs, but that Lance combo working out, getting that recovery up, putting most of the kill percent, but we're, we're seeing both players in the same position again. Nobody's really running away with a lead. Both players are kind of trading evenly, and so whoever gets the kill oh. move first. Wow, that recovery interrupting that end sig, and Aiden just gets the side sig. All right, Wilson runs into the second hit of side sig. That's just, uh, that's, a, that's a silly mi mistake to make. You, you can't make that mistake at this level, just running uh, into a side sig. Well, I mean... Aiden Pierce returns the mistake by running into a down sig. We're seeing that quite often, honestly. That was different though. That was Wilson making like a down or a dodge in read, oh. whereas Wilson literally just walked into the second stage of the side sig. That's true. Probably thinking about dodging into it and just, you know, or maybe he just wasn't respecting the hitbox. Like the hitbox as Aiden Pierce picks up the sword once again, which is the bane of Wilson as he tries to go in for a down air. Wilson gets put by the end light. Aiden Pierce goes in for another end light and doesn't work out, but the down air connects. He tries to go for an air. Wilson. Is that side light? No guitar string being followed up. And Pierce trading rather evenly with Lex Wilson. He's a D-Light down here. D-Light Sarah coming out from Wilson. Both players in the orange now. Both players just constantly even with each other. It's so hard to tell who's going to end up successful in these matches. And you know what? I'm, I'm really surprised with just how success, how much success Aiden has been finding with the sword versus Wilson's uh, spear and katars. Ooh, race out that neutral sig. Oh. The side sig. Is that going to kill? No, it doesn't even disarm. But still, that's like a similar side sig as we saw in the last game. Misses that ground pound opportunity. Aaron Wilson tossing his katars away. Goes for a recovery. Do we see? Wow. Excellent down wow. sig read from Wilson once again. Aiden, you could see Aiden Pierce was trying to go for a reverse D light there to be able to get that side air. The pony comes out and kills Wilson. That was a that was a hard read. 
We take those. The down throw mine, dealing a little damage to himself to get him out of range of the unarmed combo, of course. That's not a thing anymore, guys. I'm, I'm kidding. Listen. Right now, Ian Pierce tries to get in there as well as he goes in for that side lane. Wilson tosses the guitars away. Ian Pierce is just playing that passive game with the lance as he tosses the weapon above his head. Wilson. You're way great into misstep. And there it is. The D-Light Sarah comes out. The ultimate punish for being able to get as much damage onto Aiden as possible. As a downer. Side light comes out. Neutral light. Wilson's going to get more follow-up. This is the first sizable lead any of these players have had in this best of three. Yeah, Aiden got really... Um... Ooh. Ooh. Got a huge, uh, huge combo there. Almost got another one with the side sig, but ends up aiming it the wrong way. But yeah, yeah he, Aiden, he pivoted uh, it, I guess, expecting Wilson to dodge into it, which he's done so many times, and actually even charged it for added effect. Didn't work out. And Wilson now trying to do his own little down sig move as he gets a D-Light, waits for him to land it. No, goes for an air, and there's the down sig. Three, three down sigs. He's been kills. doing those down sigs all game, and Aiden still doesn't respect the spacing required. It's a shame. But we are going to game three. Game three, indeed, two game threes of these best of three. Far, and rather close ones as well. I was, I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting when I came into Wilson versus Aiden Pierce. I, I'm not sure if I was expecting Aiden Pierce to be on Sir Roland the entire time, but definitely seems to be favoring it. And as we go into this game three, I'm interested to see what map we end up picking in Thunderguard. I, I don't think either player really likes to mess with platform. Two, one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is a significant advantage one way or another, which is probably why whoever picked it picked it. They just want an even match. The thing that's I mean, going to be interesting is to see whether or not either player uses that center and how they use it. Because so far, Aiden Pierce has been perfectly fine as controlling center, having the lance in hand, throwing it upwards, seeing if it lands on Wilson's face and it's going to fall. Down air comes out, but other than that, I'm sure Aiden's just going to continue denying weapons from Wilson. Dodges back, tosses the sword into his face, picks up the lance. Wilson's going to be struggling to find a weapon for a while. I imagine if anyone's going to use this middle platform, it's going to be Aiden with both lance in air and sword in air. Just so easy to abuse it with. Guitar Nair is also capable, but it's not quite as powerful as the uh, two Aiden has. So we'll see if he even opts to use it at all, if he just wants to play a normal grounded game. Neutral Light comes out, <laughs> Aiden Pierce trying his best to get a little more damage on, but players trading evenly once again. Nairs are coming up with this nice he tries to bring close to the red. I know Wilson's got a really nice style of when he gets his player into kill percent, whoever it is that he's fighting against, he completely changes his approaches and starts throwing out the necessary signatures to be able to end that person's stock. And he doesn't really fish for them. I really feel like he actually tries to go for hard reads every time. As a D-Light Sarah comes out, forces Aiden off the side of the stage, and he goes for that ground pound. Aiden Pierce waiting him out, goes for that weapon toss recovery, brings Wilson to the red, and now we see both players in the kill percent once again. Those are those lance signatures that we haven't seen. And there's that down sig. Wilson trying to read Aiden for jumping into it, which he's done so many times. And the down sig actually punishes Wilson for staying in the center of the stage. Gosh. And the, uh... Side sig will kill, but before that, Wilson uh, went for another dodge and read, and Aiden dodged right in. Like, Aiden has been dodging in so much, and Wilson's getting a ton of mileage out of down sig because of it. See, like, right there, though, if Aiden doesn't pick the lance up, it just falls on Wilson's head, and you Ooh, can do an unarmed Wilson combo. just dodged into a mine. Yeah, I saw that. And then he got hit by another, another mine. One. That's these brutal, mines. because these players trade so evenly to be hit by two mines right away with Aiden Pierce still on his third stock. Wilson's also, oddly enough, going for ledge guards here as he goes for these ground pounds, and Aiden punishing that landing with a down sig. Wilson's kind of being a little bit desperate to finish off the stock now as a side air connects. Wilson, on his second stock in the red, nearly jumps on the third line, and the side sig oh, will do no. it. Wow! That neutral hits into the mine and it kills him off the top. That's three mines. Yeah. So, this is the first time we've seen a, a two-stock advantage from either of these players. And Aiden does not look like he's about to uh, choke this uh, advantage. No, either. in he's fact, he's feeling, really I good. feel like he's being quite like, energized by it even. Because Wilson, getting that downsing and killing him, is kind of playing a little bit more recklessly as he's trying to get that KO right away, recognizing that he's at a deficit. He needs to do something to come back. And Aiden Pierce is actually kind of finding some momentum from that and playing a little bit more aggressively from the passive play style that we've been seeing this best of three. Is Wilson actually gets a nice guitar string, gets that end light as well, but Aiden Pierce he only needs a weapon toss into an end air, or end light rather, to uh, put Wilson on his toes. But here we go, Wilson playing with the guitars, going for risky things like that down thing, actually gets hit by a side air. Yeah, you know, it kind of upsets me when I watch Wilson, because he only go. Oh wow, he gets hit by the second thing of the side sig again, but he only goes for this risky stuff when he's losing. And I feel like it's... It, he, he plays a little too literally 
And that's why he struggles to reach the top levels of play. Like, he's clearly a high-tier player. But... Ensig comes out and Aiden Pierce has some of his own instincts. Wilson's being brought closer and closer to kill percent. Yeah, Wilson manages to get that Valkyrie hit. Bomb goes up, tries to go for a recovery, oh. but actually gets weapon tossed into Ensig.